Hi, I'm Brent with Instructor Gadget. Today we're going to look at a device called a USB flash drive, which is also known as a jump drive or a thumb drive. Flash drives are small storage devices to which you can copy files, and they've become quite popular because it's very easy to transfer files from the flash drive to your computer. They also have a larger capacity compared to CDs or DVDs. And unlike external hard drives which have moving parts, flash drives are very durable. Due to their small size, they're also very portable and reasonably priced. Today we're going to look at copying files from your computer to the flash drive. The first step is to plug the flash drive into a USB port. When you first plug in the USB flash drive, you will likely hear a sound such as this one here, which will automatically open up the folder that you are going to use for your USB flash drive. If you'd like to pull it over to the side, you can do so using a feature called Snap, which helps you keep organized. Next, you're then going to open the folder where you have the files stored. You can access that here from the bottom using Windows Explorer, and then access the particular folder where you have those files stored. From there, you're going to copy those files by clicking on them. You can either do so by holding the control key down on your keyboard and then clicking each of the folders or using a keyboard shortcut such as control A to select all. From there, drag those over to the folder on the right hand side, which is for your USB flash drive. Now that those files have been copied onto the USB flash drive, I can also copy files from the flash drive back onto the computer. So for instance, if I wanted to copy this PowerPoint presentation, I'll open the folder for files for presentation, and then I can right click on that file and either cut or copy the file, and then similarly paste it into the particular folder on my computer where I wanna store it. The difference between cut and copy is that cut is going to remove the file from the folder that you are taking it from, whereas copy is going to leave a copy while also allowing you to paste it into the new destination. Additionally, if you would like to rename the name of the USB flash drive, you can do so by right clicking on it, giving it a new name, and then pressing enter on your keyboard. Notice that it won't immediately display the new name. However, after you have closed the folder, you will see it update such as you see here. To hopefully save you some time researching which USB flash drive to purchase, we've put together some recommendations which can be seen by clicking this link or the links in the description of this video. Instructor Gadget may receive compensation if you make a purchase using one of our affiliate links. However, we value your trust above all, and we will never recommend a product we do not genuinely believe in. Drop us a comment if you liked our recommendation, were unsatisfied with it, or found a better product that we should recommend instead. Thank you for watching this episode of Instructor Gadget. If you found this episode useful, make sure to like it, share it with friends, and subscribe. For clear, step-by-step -step instructions on additional topics, check out our series on storage and backup options, or one of these episodes.